St. Paul's Church in Holyoke, and welcome to all those who are joining us on Zoom, and welcome to the animals who have joined us. Um, this is going to be fun. Um, our, we're, we're doing a number of things that are just a little bit different. We're also trying to make the service a little bit shorter um, and do some fun music as well. And our opening hymn is from the Lift Every Voice and Sing hymnal. That's the black and red one. And it's hymn number 114. Every time I feel the spirit. Morning and welcome. That's better. Get my mic on. Um, our service can be followed in the bulletin. Um, I also want to say the we welcome the animals and the humans here. Um, if the animals need to move around, they are allowed to move around. If the animals bark or make noise, that's what they do. Um, and if it's driving you a little crazy, you can step out and then come back in. We, we will, uh, we're going to adapt to those who are here. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, and blessed be, be God's, God's kingdom, kingdom now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you new secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
May God be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator and Lord of all things, you have provided the vast resources of earth and sea and the hidden forces of nature. Teach us to recognize your hand in all your works and to use your gifts responsibly for the benefit of all people, that we may rejoice in your goodness with reverence and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Peter, I think I am going to move down and we'll use the, um, the table, the, the camera down here. I am going to come out to you for, do we need to turn that camera a little bit? Hello, people in Zoom. Is that about right? I am going to read the story of creation from the first chapter of Genesis. Now, I don't know if you have ever sat through a reading of the first chapter of Genesis. It sometimes can go on a long time. And it, you start thinking, oh, when will this be over? But I was taught this way of doing it by a very gifted uh, priest who did fun, creative things in liturgy. And it helped me understand Genesis is not about reading it like reading a textbook. It is about a, 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 a work of wonder and awe. And so you have a part in this. When I lift my right hand, you need to say, ooh. When I raise my left hand, you need to say, ah. And when I say, um, it was good, we all clap. And when I get to the point where we say, it was very good, we will clap enthusiastically and even cheer. And when I get to, when I say, it was evening, you good will say night. what we say in evening, good night. Good night. And um, if there's anything else in here that I've forgotten, we'll figure it out. A reading from the first chapter of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. Ooh while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Ah. And then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Ooh. And God saw that the light was good. good. And God separated the light from the dark, and God called the light day. Ooh. And the darkness he called night. Ah. And there was evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. And there was morning, the first day. And then God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the water and let it separate the waters from the waters. Ooh. And God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. Ah. And God called the dome sky. Ah. Uh, and there was evening. Good night. Good night. And there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Ooh. And God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. Ah. And God saw that it was good. And then God said, 
let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, fruits of trees of every kind on the earth that bear fruit with seeds in it. And it was so. Mm. And the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seeds in it. Ah. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening. Good night. Good, night. Good night. And there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be light in the domes of the sky to separate the day from the night. Ooh. And let them be for signs for the seasons and for days of the years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Ah. And God made the two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And the stars. Ah. And God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. Ah. And God saw that it was good. <laughs> and there was evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. And there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. Ooh. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. Ooh. God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let the, the, let the birds multiply on the earth. Ooh. And there was evening. Good night. good night. And there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle, and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. Ah. And God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. Ooh. And God saw that it was good. <laughs> and then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. Ah. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Ooh. So God created humankind in God's image. Ah. In the image of God, God created them. Male and female, he created them. Ah. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Ooh. And God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit and you shall have them for food. Ah. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath of life, I have give, given every green plant for food, and it was so. Ah. And God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good! And there was evening. Good night. Good night. And there was morning, the sixth day. And thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. Ooh. Ah. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that God had done, and God rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. Ah. Ooh. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, 
because on it God rested from all the work that God had done in creation. And let us all say amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Which, which camera do you want me at? This one, okay. Instead of the, or in place of the um, psalm, we're going to say the responsibly the prayer of St. Francis with me reading the first part and the congregation responding with a part that is in bold. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O God, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to, cons as to console. As to console. Sorry, I took your line. To be understood, as to understand. To be loved, as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Our gospel hymn will be in the blue hymnal, number 405, All Things Bright and Beautiful. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord God. 
Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be always acceptable to you, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. Today represents the end of our celebrating the season of creation, which started on September 1st and officially ends um, on tomorrow, October 4th, which is the Feast of St. Francis. My hope in celebrating this whole season is that it would help raise awareness of our call as Christians, as Episcopalians, as members of this community, that it is as much a spiritual issue, caring for creation, as a sp social, political, or scientific issue. And I contend that we can bring much to the table as people of faith, especially in a world that is struggling to figure out how to have hope when we hear all the news about climate change and the assault on all of creation. So in that first Sunday, we talked about why season of creation, the second Sunday, we had a baptism, and so we talked about water. And as we prayed that as Gabriel Miguel Bowden, named after two angels, Gabriel and Michael, as he was baptized, we'd be reminded of God's gift of water. And in it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. And then in our third week, we talk directly about climate change. And it's really scary. It's really troubling. And we looked, about, looked at some of the sobering facts as we heard the story of Noah and the ark. And as horrible as things were, in the end, we have the rainbow. A reminder that in God we can find hope. And we also heard the resurrection story, bark away, amen, about how the women went to the empty tomb with hope even though they know he had died. 
And when they found the empty tomb and were told he is risen, they responded much as I might have and maybe you as well. They fled in fear and amazement. But that wasn't the end of the story. They encountered the risen Jesus and proceeded to change the world. And then last week, our deacon Jack Essing uh, preached, and she talked about breathing. Breathing and breath in Hebrew is the same word as the spirit moving. And God breathed over the water, which represents chaos. The spirit moved over chaos and created all things. She reminded us to take a deep breath to slowly let it out, to remind ourselves that God has given us breath and remains with us no matter what. And she remind us too that we are created and sustained by Almighty God. That when we fear that there really is nothing we can do, that hope is lost, she said, breathe. And remember that God has called everyone to be here as stewards, that we are connected by having a full life with the wonders of creation breathed into us. I love that phrase of God's breathing into us. And that we are connected to not just this community, but to this wider community with all of its resources. And today is the last Sunday of creation. Today, I'm hoping we're going to have a little bit more fun that we can enjoy the relationship, thinking about the relationship that we have, have and have had with animals, whether they be pets or whether they are animals that we have known, animals that we have used as food. It is a chance for us to remember that God, as we care for these animals, God even more so cares for us. And we we're doing this on the eve of the Feast of St. Francis. Now Francis is a whole lot more than a statue standing next to the birdbath. Francis called all the creatures his brothers and sisters, but also expected them to proclaim Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. And the words, of, in the words of the song of praise that we've been singing every Sunday from all creatures of our God and King, those were written by Francis in the early 13th century. I think of that as being, oh, that's the dark ages, nothing happened. And yet we have this amazing witness of God's love in Francis. And so we're here to remember and ask for God's blessings on our pets, as well as the wild animals, as well as those raised for food, as a reminder of both our responsibility for, to care for them and all creation, but also deepening our knowledge that we ourselves are cared for by a loving God. Amen. Let's now profess our faith. We believe we belong to the creator in whose image we are all made. In God, we are breathing. In God, we are living. In God, we share the life of all creation. We belong to Jesus Christ, the true icon of God and of humanity. In him, God is breathing. In him, God is living. Through, Through him, him we, we are, are reconciled. reconciled. We belong to the Holy Spirit. 
who gives us new life and strength, strength, strengthens our faith. In the spirit, love is breathing. In the spirit, truth is living. The breath of God always moves us. We belong to the Trinity, who is one in all and three in one. In God, we are all made. In Christ, we are all saved. In the spirit, we are all united. Together, we belong to the earth, our common home. The earth that is the Lord's and all that is in it. In our prayers today, we pray for the church, for Michael, our presiding bishop, Douglas, our bishop, Tom, our priest, Jack, our deacon, and for all lay and ordained ministers. We pray for those in the diocesan cycle of prayer, Trinity Church in Ware, the Canon for Mission Resources, the Episcopal Church Building Fund, and the covenant relationship with the Diocese of Kumasi in Ghana. We pray for those who are ill or in any kind of need. We pray, we pray, for, you, pray for anyone you would like to remember either aloud or silently at this time. I ask your prayers for Virginia, who's recovering from a stroke. For Anthony. We pray for any animals who are in need. We pray for those who have entered into larger life. We pray for anyone who you'd like to remember at this time, either aloud or silently. And we also pray for the animals who have been a part of our lives. Our altar flowers are given in thanksgiving for the animals that enrich our lives with their unconditional love. And now we pray for our search process. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, look graciously on your church, and so guide the minds of those who shall choose a rector for St. Paul's Parish, that we may receive a faithful pastor who will care for your people and equip us for our ministries through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray for creation. Let us give thanks to our God, to God our Creator, for all the gifts so freely bestowed upon us, and for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We, we thank, thank you, you, Lord. For the richness of the mountains, plains, and rivers. We thank, we thank, you, thank you, Lord. Lord. <laughs> for all that is gracious in the lives of all people. We thank, we thank you, Lord. You, Lord for all creatures that breathe and move and have life. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For the songs of birds and the loveliness of flowers and trees. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For the trust you have shown in giving into our care, these our pets. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. That each, each pet here may be treasured with care. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. We pray to you, Lord that we may love and honor all your works, O God. We, we pray to you, Lord. That we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation. To the, to the honor, honor and glory, glory of, of your name, name now and, and forever, we, we pray, pray to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin against God and God's creation. Holy and merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, we confess that, that we have failed to honor you, you by rightly claiming our kinship with all your creatures. creatures. We, we have walked heavily on your earth, overused and wasted its resources, resources taken for granted its beauty and abundance, and, abundance, and treated its inhabitants unjustly holding future generations hostage to our greed. Have mercy on us and forgive us our sin. Renew in us the resolve to keep and conserve your earth 
as you desire and intend. With grateful and compassionate hearts, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now, peace with yourself, peace with creation, peace with one another, and may the peace of Christ be always with you. And also, and also with, with you. I ask you to wave and I exchange the peace with those near you. God's peace. Peace be with you. God's peace to the people on Zoom. And yes, peace to all of you who are joining us on Zoom. Well, thank you all for being here today. I think we might have, I might have scared away some of our uh, folks. Um, but um, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're, those who have animals are here. Um, this is always a service that I find is really fun. Um, so thank you for indulging me. The um, announcements, we do have the uh, fall festival coming up. There's brochures in the back that's coming up on um, uh, November, November, I was trying to remember what month it was, <laughs> November 6th. Um, and I don't think that there's any other major things going, oh yes, Bobby, you wanted to. Hi, everybody. I haven't had a chance to meet all of you yet. I am Bobby, and you all gave me a beautiful, I hope I can pronounce it correctly, anthurium, anthurium plant, and it is lovely, and it sits by the window right where I sit when I have my coffee in the morning. So it's, it, it's very beautiful, and it was very, it means a lot that, that you gave that gift. Thank you. And I'm going to also put a plug in here for choir, because choir is going to be starting up sometime soon, we hope. And I'm interested in gathering together voices that can sing and enjoy it. You don't have to have a perfect voice, but share your voice. And anybody who would be at all interested in this choir experience, Please talk to me, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Come to the uh, come to the camera. Uh, just two quick things. Uh, you know that we are always looking for people to host social hour. It's pretty easy, it's just bring some kind of punch or drinks. We, some, we do have some snacks in the back that are prepackaged um, if you want to bring along something, but we really do need somebody to uh, you know, linger a little bit after church and share in community together. Also, uh, month of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I am again taking donations for the Rays of Hope. Um, a, 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 something near and dear to my heart, and I'm sure all of you have um, encountered someone or have had the experience of having breast cancer or caretaking for someone who has. It's a very important uh, charity, and they all the money that we raise stays right here. No one is paid, not even the board. 100% goes directly to care uh, of breast cancer uh, survivors and those undergoing treatment. Thank you. And a final word, if you're trying to figure out, well, how are we actually going to do the blessing? Well, our blessing is going to be in the context of the Eucharist. Um, I will be saying some prayers of blessings at the beginning. Um, we'll celebrate the Eucharist. And then when we time to receive, I will be down here below the steps. 
I invite you to come forward with your, with your animals and with yourselves. I will say the blessing, and then Jack will be distributing communion by the side altar. And so only the humans get communion. Um, I apologize to my, my animal friends, but um, um, so we'll just come up and then we can give space, particularly for the animals, um, to receive communion. So thank you for being here. And now, now, O oh Lord, our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power because you have created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Two bags of lunches are going to be distributed at the Church Without Walls uh, this afternoon uh, with uh, Jack and myself, so we wanted to bring these up as well. If anybody would like to join us in this ministry, please talk to Jack and myself after the service. 
Um, it is a short service and then providing food for people um, in West Springfield. A prayer of blessing for all animals. Blessed are you, Lord God, who makes every living thing with which the waters teem, every winged bird, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, and called it all good. Thank you for these animals we have as pets, for their life that comes from you, and for the love and joy they bring. Bless these creatures and let our loving care for them be a reflection of your loving nature. We praise you for all your beauty and creation, and especially for these expressions of your love. Blessed are you, Lord our God, in all your creatures. Amen. Amen. And we remember our animal companions who are no longer with us physically. We give thanks for the gifts that they gave us and the variety of ways they enriched and blessed our lives. We are confident that our Creator continues to care for them. Amen. Amen. And now our service continues with the great thanksgiving as found in your leaflet. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All praise and thanks are yours at all times and in all places, our true and loving God. Through Jesus Christ, your eternal word, the wisdom from on high by whom you created all things, you laid the foundations of the world and enclosed the sea when it burst out from the womb. You brought forth all creatures in the earth and breathed into humankind. Wondrous are you, Holy One of blessing. All you create is a sign of hope for our journey. And so as the morning stars sing your praises, we join the heavenly beings with all creation as we shout with joy, holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor are yours, creator of all. Your word has never been silent. You call the people to yourself as a light to the nations. You delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace, you gave Jesus to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your holy reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you have freed us from all sin, brought us into, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you and restored us to the glory you intended for us. We thank you that on the night before he died, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Take and eat and do this for the remembrance of me. After, seat, after supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, gave it to his friends, and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And so, remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection and ascension, longing for Christ coming in glory and presenting to you these gifts your earth has formed and human hands have made, we acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, Dying you, you destroyed, destroyed our, our death. death. Rising, you, you restored, restored our, our life. life. Christ, Christ Jesus, come in glory. glory. 
and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. And giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ and in the fullness of time, gather us with all your people into the joy of our true eternal homes. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. By the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices of unending praise. Blessed are you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, thine is the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Behold what you are. May we become what we receive. And the gifts of God for the people of God.
Using the prayer, uh, the post communion prayer, let us pray together. God of abundance, you have fed us with the bread of life and cup of salvation. You have united us with Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth and with your whole creation. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. And may God, who established the dance of creation, who marveled at the lilies of the field, who transformed chaos to order, lead us to transform our lives and the church to reflect God's glory in creation. And may God, the creator, the redeemer, and sustainer of life, be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is, um, he's got the whole world in his hands. The uh, tune is in Levis, but we've changed some of the verses. So you might want to just follow the verses that are printed in the bulletin. Thanks be to God.